Hello, welcome to another Excel at the Office video and in this video I'm going to cover Excel again and in particular graphs and how you can change the individual items in the graph. So in this case I'm uh, doing bars but it works if you um, want to do um, markers um, or other things in your graph. So normally when you do a graph and if you're feeling fancy rather than doing the automated uh, normal Excel way of uh, formatting things which uh, isn't very appealing you would go up here you would select the bars and give them a color but it changes all the bars colors um, and although this is very straightforward not a lot of people know how to do this so click it once it selects them all but click it again and it selects just the one bar um, so you can change it uh, according to your color scheme so I was doing red amber green for some to indicate performance but you might want to indicate uh, categories for example so that's really uh, as straightforward as it gets um, if you like how the bars are presented here you can select the bars and go to format um, and I uh, sorry, right click and go to format data series to bring up the format pane and oftentimes I it's good practice to just take away the overlap and I generally do the gap width between um, 20 and 40 percent or so because normally I think it starts out at a hundred and uh, a lot higher so that much of your um, there's so much white space in the gaps um, but when you reduce it down to 20% or so, uh, your bar chart is full of bars. So anyway, that's how you um, format things individually, is selecting them individually by first selecting uh, the bars and then selecting again on your particular bar. I hope you found that helpful. Have a look at my website, excelattheoffice.com, uh, for more tips, and I'll do another video again soon.